Hi guys, out in the e-bike again, uh, fat tired bike, um, snow bike, so let's see how it goes in the, the snow. Okay, the bike seems to be gripping surprisingly well, considering the, it's actually been really quite icy underneath the the snow at side, so I'm in the centre of the track, which had a bit of um, a bit a bit softer rather than the old uh, four-wheel drive tracks, which have been packed in and very icy. So let's see how it goes. Have to remember not to pick up too much speed because uh, I'm not sure how well the the tyres go actually grip. But so far, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, mind you, I'm going downhill. I'm just going down to Insharn, uh, a sort of small um, house, estate house down here, and then I'm going to cross the old General Wade's military bridge from uh, some, uh, built after 1745 Jacobite Rebellion. That's just crossing it here. What a strange feeling being the snow on the bike. Uh, um, so just need to take care because I, I really, I really don't know how it's going to handle. Um, but so far, seems to be doing quite well. Go across the wooden bridge here. This is really quite thick snow here, and. Uh, this is amazing, you know, really amazing being able to actually cycle this. Absolutely incredible. Probably won't go all the way to Aviemore today. I don't know, just, just be very careful. Um, remember that when I go back down, I'll be using the brakes, so it's more likely to lose it there going downhill. Uh, but Going uphill so far is uh, good. Yes, this is probably absolutely fantastic, you know, really, it's amazing being able to do this. Uh, <laughs> I just can't believe how, how, how good this is. Uh, I hadn't realised, I mean, I'd heard the uh, the fat tired bikes would, you know, grip quite well, but they're at such an effort to normally p uh, pedal. So combined with the electric uh, motor, you know, it's just absolutely ideal as an all-terrain bike. Normally you need a, you know, a four-wheel drive to get along these tracks. So. so more on that show the packed track from the four-wheel drive so that's going to be more icy so I'm going to the brakes see yes the snow seems to be working quite well so Woo. absolutely stunning light you know Scottish winter Scottish Highlands, the Cairngorms National Park, where the sun is over there, I'm looking towards the uh, near Craigellachie, which is the other side of Aviemore.
So we're just heading through the gate into the, the forest. Let's see if we can go over this. Uh, yes! <laughs> over the branch there. You can hear the ice cracking underneath. These are just standard fat tyres. I mean, they're quite knobbly. Um, they're not ice tyres or anything, just in case anybody's uh, wondering. Um, so, yeah, getting into the forest here. Got a snow melt there. Puddles. Oh, jeez! <laughs> right, a bit of ice there. So, yeah, I just forgot about that, actually. Uh, the, I was thinking water, but it's actually ice. So, just got to be on the ball here, guys. Uh, over the branches. Yes. Oh, this is really good fun going through the forest here. Oh, there's a big branch that's come down here, so certainly not going to be going over that, I don't think. So I'll just put it in walk mode here, if I press this button down, it just gives a bit of assistance for pushing it. <laughs> so that's the P there for the, the walk mode. And that's off, and then back into... Another big branch has come down here. Oops. Okay, what? <laughs> so we're just getting out there in the forest, so. Okay, heading back up and out the forest over the little branch. Uh, 